Hello and welcome to another theme build video. I am Sphinx SDO and today we will be looking at the legendary temporal flight deck cruiser, also known as the Discovery Constitution. And here is what we put onto the ship. We have the beams that comes with the ship, the advanced phaser beam arrays, I am using all of them, and they're fully upgraded and re-engineered to my liking. We have the dark magic quantum torpedo from the Discovery Reputation. From the fleet Dranur colony we have the deflector. Then we have from the competitive war games we have the engines and the shields and the two piece that gives us a little bit of hull capacity, a little bit of control expertise and resistance to the same, and also Starship Weapon Specialization, basically improves critical hit chance with weapons. Then we have a crafted warp core that uh, reduces weapon power cost and resistance to subsystem power drain, also improves battery duration and adds engine power into weapons power as a bonus and its weapons power into shield power as a bonus. We have the energy amplifier battery. We are using reactive arm catalyst, deuterium surplus, temporal negotiator from a recruitment event and the Kobayashi Maru. It's also an event reward. Uh, in this slot, we have Lorca's custom fire controls since this is an X upgraded ship, we have an extra universal console slot. Then we have the console that comes with the ship. It gives kinetic damage resistance and shield hit points, and it also launches a squadron of tactical flyers, which are the same as the ones you have as your hangar pets. So we get more. We have a lobby console, that's the binaural infusion circuits. More hull capacity, control expertise, and critical severity. I'm also using another low bay console here, it's the ultimate modified swarm processor. Gives a critical chance and accuracy and an ultimate drone, which is super annoying. Then we have a lockbox console, it's the approaching agony for more phaser damage and critical chance. We have the assimilated module for critical chance, critical severity, weapon power setting, damage control and control expertise. Dynamic power redistributor module from the Atlas. Do we need to speak of it? It's so good. Damage resistance, energy damage, and it's also nice clicky when you're in a pinch for some heal. 500% hull region. Then we have the Point of S bombardment warhead from the legendary NX. Gives projectile damage and critical chance. The Domino from the Bajoran Raider has so many good things going for it. Face of damage, accuracy rating, firing cycle haste, bonus all damage, bridge officer recharge speed, and torpedo weapons recharge speed. And then we have the phaser locators, three of those. The hangar bays are equipped with the tactical flying squadrons. You could get higher rarity of those from your fleet starbase, but I haven't got around to do that yet. Also, if you do like my content, remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also find me on Twitch where I stream this game every week. And the background music I made by myself, you can find that on all major music streaming platforms under Sphinx Music. All of this is of course linked down below. And there's also a link to my Discord. On the stations, we are using Tactical Team, Chemosite 2, Fire at Will 3, and then we're also using Torpedo Spread 1 and Attack Pattern Beta 1. Emergency power to engines, and we have auxiliary power to the emergency battery, emergency power to weapons, and recursive shearing. Engineering Team, Nice for some heals. Science team, same goes for that, a little bit of heal. 
And hazard emitters, it's very good when you are fighting the Borg or anything that gives you damage over time because this clears those damage over time. And then we also have Photonic Officer 2, which also goes into cooldown management. And for the traits, we do use uh, a good day to die. Context is for kings. Beam barrage, which you get from RD level 15 in beams. Self modulating fire. Superior beam training. This is upgraded from beam training in uh, your fleet base K13. We have dualist fervor. And then we have a fleet coordinator. Operative and drill seeker. Starship traits. The best diplomat. Strike from shadows. Entwine tactical matrices. Emergency weapon cycle. Calm before the storm. And finally, overpowered and overgunned. And for the space repetition, I'm using enhanced rending shots. Tireless duality. Precision. Magnified firepower, and finally, advanced targeting systems. And for good measure, since this is a uh, discovery themed uh, captain, we also use a bit of discovery themed ground items. We have the uh, gravity containment unit from the discovery reputation. This is a massive AoE damage. We have a MUDS time device, and then we also have a covert assault drone. And then we add on to that with a little bit of graviton spike that it gives uh, kinetic damage. And I'm also using Ambush. Uh, the kit is a tactical kit with kit performance. Could have been a better kit, but that's what I had available. I also use the fully upgraded Red Angel suit. And uh, the two-piece, good old uh, not cool weapon and shield, because the two-piece there is uh, really good. Gives you critical chance and critical severity. And the main weapon, well, Section 31 Heavy Phaser Rifle. The secondary fire on this is a prolonged beam, but combined with the covert assault drone, it does massive damage together, because this one shoots when you shoot. So those two together, it's mayhem. And we of course use the Pavan healing crystal from Pavo and the combat trained tardigrade. And now it's time, how does this thing hold up in battle? Well, we'll let the Borg be the judge of that. Enjoy. The situation is grim.
Sensors confirm that the transport conduit has been destroyed.